2.5 watts. No, you can't go over one watt for an aerial application per the FCC. So it would be an FCC violation, but the FCC isn't too aggressive in the 5.8 gigahertz band. You probably would never get in trouble for it. That's fascinating. That's fascinating. All right, well, there we go. Uh, Papa Midnight, I don't know if we know any hard max range for the DJI 03 system. For the Vi for the it's Vista system, it would not do anything to the hard max range. Go ahead, Blunty. I, oh. I, I was under the impression that there was a, uh, like, I thought it was like the 23 kilometers was the limit, oh, but is, maybe I'm wrong. Is that a hard yeah. max? Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Um, it, um, probably I'm wrong. Um, I don't know where Slaughter Bart Fast. Get ready to get educated, Blunty. Make this a make this a a, a live stream clip so I can reference it whenever people say this because I have to say this all the time. Well, not all the time, but every so often. Uh, why why do I say that there is a one watt FCC output limit for aircraft? Because there is. And I, I'm not uh, uh, surprised that you think there isn't because it's a very, very roundabout way to get there. So the FCC, by the way, not the FAA, that's the Federal Aviation, the FCC, the Federal, the radio guys, says that there is a one watt limit. Uh, I'm not going to get the actual, well, I can look it up. I'll look it up. Let's see if I can find it. The actual wording is, is it telecommand of an aircraft? Is it part 97? No, that's a space station. There is a one watt limit. I'm going to have trouble finding it. Uh, may, we may back into it at the end of this on telecommand of a remote control aircraft is the gist of it. And uh, bef uh, until something happened, we all assumed that the video link was not telecommand. We all assumed that the control link was telecommand and had a one watt limit, but the video link was not. However, I've got a link in the chat, Discord. Thank you, Blunty. There we go. Perfect. Thank you, Blunty. 47 CFR 97215, Telecommand of Model Craft. This is in part 97, which is the ham the ham radio uh, rules that you are operating under, whether you know it or not, uh, unless you're using a part 15 device, which is like the, almost, the DJI is part 15, but then if you put that amplifier on it, it wouldn't be part 15 anymore. It'd be part 97. Telecommand of a model craft, an amateur station transmitting signals to control a model craft may be operated as follows. The transmitter power must not exceed one watt. Okay? So, the FCC says that any transmitter used to telecommand a model craft cannot exceed one watt. Now, the next place that people go is video link isn't telecommand. And I would agree with you. But then this happened. This footnote 15. Where is footnote 15? Right here. Additionally, some of the AV transmitters exceeded the authorized power limit for amateur operation of a model craft. So what this letter from the FCC is saying is, we find GetFPV for violating rules. One of the rules they violated was the rule limiting the max power a model craft can transmit. And here in footnote 15, it explicitly references 97.215, which limits transmitter power to one watts. So what this means is that the FCC considers the video link to fall under 97.215, telecommand of a model craft, and the FCC, so for that, and that's why I say that there is a one watt limit per the FCC on the max output power of a VTX. And every time I have this conversation, because people are like, it never says that. Well, it doesn't say that, but it says these other three things, and they add up to that. So, um, and that's why most stores won't sell a VTX in the United States that is advertised as going over one watt. 
if they also sell uh, radio control aircraft. I will point out, not to put yeah. them on blast, but yeah. RDQ, I believe, changed all their listings to 1Y, even though they're selling 2.5 watt VTXs. Yep, that's why they did that. I think. But they all are the same VTXs. They're all, say, two, five, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, just I know. one in the listing. Yeah, I, crazy. I, yep. I mean, I mean, they have to play the game. I assume they're just playing the game. Get yep. FPV got fined 180 grand. This wasn't the only thing they did that was in violation. Um, but, uh, yeah. And now you know. Now you know. I was surprised. I was surprised that they consider the video link to be telecommand. Obviously, the control link is telecommand. But then on the flip side, obviously, you can't fly the damn thing without the video link. So it's not unreasonable to consider the video link to be telecommand. But this is the only, this is the first and only time in this order to, to get a PV that the FAA explicitly revealed that they consider the video link to be telecommand and therefore limited to one watt. Slaughter Bartfast says, I don't think that ruling was accurate. I mean, you could argue that it's inaccurate. I'm sure that GetFPV's lawyers tried to save them 180 grand by arguing that it was inaccurate and they lost and were fined. So at least that's that's how I assume it happened. I don't know. Uh, you could argue all you want that it's wrong, but if a court finds that it's right, then you're just certain pissing into the wind. 